In this video, we have some inventory management techniques to use scripts to automatically reorder or replenish inventory items when they drop below a certain level. Now, you have a certain scenario where you'll scan a bill of materials and all the items on that bill of materials would be reduced from inventory. Now, when certain inventory items get below a certain level, you want to kick off script to automatically reorder them or to create a new work order to build them on the shop floor. So in either case, whether you reorder or build, when the items are finished or they arrive on your shipping dock, you want to scan them again and that would replenish the inventory. So let's go ahead and take a look at how that works in the software. So here in the software, I'm going to go through this typical sequence of events that would automatically reduce inventory when a bill of materials is scanned and then also automatically reorder inventory when it falls below the quantity to reorder. So I will be using these two barcodes when I do. So the beginning of this steps would be when you scan a bill of materials. So we'll press F4, that opens the barcode window, and then I would would scan the bill of materials name. So you can see that the items from that bill of materials have automatically been reduced from inventory. So if the quantity for any one of those items in stock falls below the quantity to reorder, then a script would be triggered to automatically reorder that inventory item. So let's go ahead and take a look at where that would be. First of all, when you go to the tools menu, you see inventory and bill of materials, but I just wanted to look at the scripts because that is the automated process by which you could reorder inventory. There are several ways you could do this. You could enter a new record into a database somewhere, like an order record. You might send an email to someone to just have them order it. That would be the simplest one. You could insert records using a stored procedure in databases. Now this is getting pretty technical. You'd have to have your programmer set up some of this stuff. You could call web services, something like Amazon or other services where you automatically place an order using web services, contacting a website. So standard time could do that. You could also replenish. Uh, this is a little bit different than reordering. You could replenish by creating a new project task that would tell someone to go and build those parts. You could replenish by creating a new work order and that work order would have some tasks, would be assigned to some people who would then build the parts and then those would be scanned and put back into inventory. And you notice uh, another one here, this is just an, another script that does something else. So scripting is used for other purposes other than inventory, but uh, we've looked at one, two, three, four, five, six ways at least that you could automatically reorder inventory using scripting. There's probably plenty of other ones I don't have listed here, different ways to do that, but you simply create a script and you can see the script over here. So you would need a programmer to do that that would automatically go and reorder those parts. So the next step in the sequence is that those parts would arrive on your shipping dock a few days later after they've been ordered and you would then want the shipping and receiving people to scan those. So let's pull up the F4 window again. We'll go back to the barcodes that we were using for this little exercise. We're going to add a thousand nuts to inventory. So go ahead and scan that and you can see that those were added to inventory. So now when we close this, go to tools, inventory and click on that the quantity in stock is replenished again. So that's kind of the round trip story or the sequence of events when you would scan a bill of materials, reduce the inventory items and then automatically replenish the inventory for the quantity in stock. Obviously standard time is a time tracking application but you do have this ability to work with work orders, bill of materials, inventory and scripts.